Hi, my name is Peter Chen, Technical Marketing Engineer at Netgear. I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a production and guest wireless network using our WC7520 wireless controller and a couple of our access points. I will now log uh, into the wireless controller. To do so, uh, I'm simply going to point my browser at the IP address of the controller and uh, you'll see this login screen and I will go ahead and put in my login credentials, click login. Um, we will go straight into configuration and profile. Uh, here, uh, for our production network, we will utilize the 5.0 gigahertz band. So uh, to do this, I will have to move to this tab right here and click on the plus sign, click add, and we will name our production network production. And uh, obviously you would like to secure this network, so um, instead of leaving it open, we'll use uh, WPA2 PSK for authentication and AES for encryption. And, you know, remember when you're assigning your WPA passphrase, use something unique and uh, secure. Okay. Um, since it's going to be on the default VLAN, I will leave the VLAN uh, value at 1. And I'll go ahead and click Apply. And that's it. We now have a uh, production wireless network that's uh, been secured. Uh, the next step, obviously, would be to create a guest wireless network for guests and uh, contractors um, maybe entering into your uh, business location. So for this one, I'd like to show, um, to put it on the 2.4 gigahertz band. So we're going to go back to the 802.11 uh, BGN tab right here, click on plus, add, and what we're going to do is name our wireless network guest. Okay. There are many ways to approach this, but in our example here, we're, we will still secure it with uh, WPA2 PSK as well as uh, encrypted data with AES. Now, we could use a simpler password for guest access, so I'm going to go ahead and put something in. Uh, now, uh, wireless client security separation, what this does is it, it separates all the different clients that are connected uh, in the guest network and does not allow them to see each other, which is what you want in, in a guest network. So rather than disable, we will change this to enable. And uh, in my network here, uh, the guest network is on its own VLAN. Separate it, uh, this separates it from uh, our production traffic and uh, it, it keeps all our you know, important business data and servers uh, secure and isolated from the guest network. So I'm going to go ahead and change this value to 2. And in addition to that, I'm also going to show you how to utilize our, our captive portal feature uh, on the wireless controller uh, for this guest network. So I'm going to check this box right here and click Apply. And Pretty much, that's uh, uh, we, we now also have a guest network. Now, the final step in uh, completing this would be to go to the captive portal page. Okay, uh, captive portal, portal type, guest. Um, here, you can customize where you want uh, the login, and, and as well as load, uh, if you want to load a background image uh, of your biz with your business logo, you can also do that as well. Uh, and if you have any uh, text, uh, disclaimer text, that you would like to uh, uh, have on the guest portal page, you can do this as well. I'm just going to put something here. And, uh, you know, before we hit apply, we can also uh, preview what it's going to look like here as well. So, okay, so this is a nice preview of uh, what uh, guest users will be greeted with uh, when they log on to your, uh, your guest wireless network. Now I'm going to go back and uh, click apply. And that's pretty much it. 
and that's how easy it is to create a production and guest wireless network with Netgear.